confession. As angry as I was that you jumped to conclusions about me and JR, I was mostly scared. Of? Losing you. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Considering nothing happened. <laughs> but I just know more than anybody how fast things can spin out of control. And, and I was thinking, oh my God, if he doesn't believe me, I, uh, I just, I, I don't know what I would do without you, Scott. And it's true. You're my rock. You're what keeps me grounded and steady and, and sane. And I hope that doesn't sound boring to you because it's the exact opposite. I'm just saying, I've never been with someone who has so much integrity and who is so loyal. Okay, come on, come on, just stop, huh? Please. Did I also mention insanely modest? You can't put me on a pedestal like this. I can, this. if you deserve it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, do you remember that I stole from a dead man? Hmm? Doesn't exactly scream integrity. Don't do that. Don't let Jair make you feel guilty. Because you and I both know, you didn't do anything he wouldn't have done himself. I don't, I don't know if it was one moment or, you know, if it's something that's happened over time, but I've turned into someone who I don't recognize anymore. I mean, I, mean, I, I ended up going from one extreme to another. I, from wondering if I would ever pick myself up again to just crazy, full-blown attack mode. I mean, God, Jair, I got into a physical altercation with Annie outside of a will reading. I, this isn't me. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is now. But I mean, until I figure out what I want and who I am, I, 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 I can't be here. Go check on AJ. Thank you so much for helping me out. Are your arms about to fall off? No, but that could change if you don't tell me where to put these. Oh, sorry, right here. It's great. Uh, you know, it's really nice of you to restock Ryan's place like this, especially since. I don't know when he's going to be released from the hospital. Yeah. Look, I'm not, I'm not delusional or anything. I know that he had a relapse and his condition is really serious. But I don't know, I just have this feeling like he's gonna rally soon, you know? Be home before we know it. Well, I hope you're right. Otherwise, this place is gonna smell like sour milk and rotten eggs. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, hey, if I see an expiration date approaching, I will bring whatever it is over to your place, cook for you and Randy. Mmm, milk and eggs. My specialty. <laughs> You know, with Randy's schedule, all we've been eating is takeout, takeout, and more takeout. A nice home-cooked meal sounds pretty damn good. Oh, hey, I said I would cook. I did not say it would be good. <sighs> Are you sure you and Kendall didn't leave anything behind? Not my first rodeo. No. Oh, it seems like we're always doing this. We'll get him. We will. Right now, I gotta get back to the hospital, okay? In case one of David's spies notices that I'm gone. Or even worse, Madison notices and puts out an APB for me. Well, then you should get going, you know? You've worried her enough. Okay. We'll talk soon. All right, okay, good. Obviously, he's not here, so this is good. We can go and get my phone. Okay. How do we do that? I don't know, maybe can you kick the door down or something? You don't think he'd notice? Well, Ryan found a way to get in there, so why don't we just call Ryan? That's a joke, right? It's well, yeah. pretty funny, because I was gonna ask the same thing. What the hell are you doing outside my room? I'll give you one guess. Uh, Zach. You miss me so much, you couldn't stay away? No. I heard some distressing stories about you. You don't say. See, I like some people. I like my mother-in-law. like to keep her alive and well. Well, then, today's your lucky day. Eric is doing fine. So we can talk about that out here or take it in your room. All right, Zach. So what is this about? Are you here to strong arm me into changing my story? I just want to talk to you, that's all. 
I already told your wife and pretty much anyone with working ear canals that I had nothing to do with Erica's plane crash. So, sorry. Looks like this was a wasted trip. Seeing you is never a waste, David. Thank you. Okay, I knew this was a bad idea. Can we just go? No, wait a minute. Um, you haven't seen Greenlee yet, have you? Well, she's right downstairs. We can go find her. We can raise a glass. Raise a glass to what? Your return to Pine Valley. But more importantly, your imminent departure. <laughs>